Welcome to this video demonstration of Citroen's satellite navigation system. We're in a Citroen C3 at the moment, although this system will be much the same in most of the Citroen range where sat-nav can be found. So we're on the main menu for the satellite navigation at the moment. You can press this button and you'll get to the map view or you can come back to the main menu if you want. And everything's very, very clearly highlighted as you can see. So you have enter destination, search for points of interest. We can have traffic messages map settings we can change from here we can show points of interest on the map or we can change our overall settings so the actual settings area is where you will change your preferences of journey type or the type of journey will find for you from fastest journey to shortest distance and time or ecological so you know and you can avoid ferries tolls um, you can turn on the traffic you can also adjust your voice settings from here which is quite important so you can have female voice male voice you can change the volume uh, of that voice from here Please as well. Adjust the voice synthesizer volume. As you can see, and Please you can turn, adjust the voice synthesizer volume. You can turn it on and off from here as well. So if you'd rather not have the voice, you don't have to. When it comes to points of interest, so if you want to search a point of interest, just hit that uh, button just there, and you can see now we've got accommodation, bank, borders, business. I mean, loads and loads of different things. So let's say we wanted to go to uh, car park, uh, the closest car park, and then hit search. And what it will do now is it will look for car parks in the area you're in, starting with the closest. And you can see just there, it's got them in order of closest first. Um, so you can hit any one of those car parks. These are town center ones, for example. You can hit that car park. It will show you where it is uh, and you can navigate to it by hitting navigate if you wish to. It's also useful for things like uh, petrol stations. So garage, you can just see there. Um, similarly, so petrol station. Uh, similarly, restaurants and shops, lots and lots of different things on there. Um, so that's very useful. Or, of course, how you'll be using your satellite navigation most of the time is to navigate to a particular address. Uh, to do that, you can see you've got nation, England, uh, city, the road. So you can, for example, start to type in which city you want. Uh, and as soon as you start typing the city, so if we, uh, for example, on this video, start to type... Uh, Guildford it will eventually limit down to a point where these are now our options so we can select Guildford just there uh, and if we select a or start typing in a road name again it gives you limited next letters uh, until it gets an idea uh, so London Road is the name of the road we want to go to so confirm uh, select it off of the list and then hit confirm again and then navigate to, and it will confirm we are the sort of, sort of route we want. We want the fastest route, so confirm. And yeah, okay, that message. In 60 yards, at the roundabout, take the first exit. And it's as easy as that. Uh, if you'd like to come and see this system working for yourself, uh, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to speak to you soon.